Good morning, it's Nikki from Canada, and welcome to my square foot garden. Let's do a little walk around first. Okay, this is where I will be planting my herbs this year. As you can see, the chives come up, and they're looking beautiful. And I think that's mint. Let's have a smell. Yes, that's in a pot, so hopefully it'll stay contained. And that was supposed to be... Not sure. Don't look like it survived. Over in this one, because I have so many bird feeders here, I got a lot of weeds, so I'm pulling everything out. This is the chives that I didn't get out, so they're, I'll leave them there. I think I'll plant some cat grass as well. And I've replanted my raspberries. So see how they do there. Look like they're doing okay so far. And over here, this is where my rhubarb is. I might replant that over in the flower bed as well. It doesn't seem to be getting enough light. The stems aren't very big, but I'll wait till I harvest it and I'll plant it after that. And we're going to remove everything from this bed and the flowers are all going down on this side. I've transplanted a few. Here's the lupins, a bunch of irises. Okay, let's go check out the vegetables. I might replant that over in the flower bed as well. It doesn't seem to be getting enough light. The stems aren't very big, but I'll wait till I harvest it and I'll plant it after that. And we're going to remove everything from this bed. And the flowers are all going down on this side. I've transplanted a few. Here's the lupins. A bunch of irises. Okay, let's go check out the vegetables. I've taken the fence off this one. This is where I will be planting my cucumbers and tomatoes and things like that. The critters don't seem to bother those too much. This one here I planted last week with a couple things. And again, we fenced that in because critters like those. I got some cauliflower and some beans so far. They don't bother the beans either and this is the one that got the rest of my plants, the stuff I planted last week and this is what I have to plant this week. Yeah, let's go over here. Oh, everything from last week's looking pretty good. And here's my beds that I'll be working Maybe today. Fish pond still has no fish in it. They're still inside, but looking clear, so they should come out shortly. And I redid my bed for my gooseberries. Took off that old broken bed and put this another one on. Put a bunch of soil in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to put something else in the other side. The cherry tree is starting to bloom. So there's my cherry tree. And we got two new trees this year. It's supposed to be a cherry and a peach, but I'm not sure. This is supposed to be the cherry tree. And this is supposed to be the peach. I think I'll put a strawberry bed where these two bins are. Okay, I'm going to plant some Swiss char over on the left and celery and radicchio. Oh, and of course, do some weeding first. Four radicchio per square foot.
quite the roof face going on. As I mentioned, when I plant them, I leave a little indentation around the outside. So when the water goes in there, it goes down to the roots. Celery is also for per square foot. These are the bad guys. I'll look the name up for you later and add it, but the best way to get rid of them is to put them in water. Okay, I'm going to plant broccoli in this bed, but first I need to do some serious weeding and I'm going to transplant the onions. Okay, I got all the weeds out. I also have holes dug and some onions planted. So I'm just going to finish off on this side and I'm going to plant the broccoli. A couple things to note, I have a couple buckets. This bucket, I just do a bucket to carry my tools around. This bucket, weed as I'm going. And this bucket for those creepy little critters, whatever they are. I will lift it up and let you know. So, let's get some planting. And I'm working with the new tripod, so no more shaky. So here we go. Broccoli is one broccoli per square foot. I'm doing a row of four and three up in the center. everywhere and they have such a long root. Spend half my time removing them. I split the roots apart to give them a more easier for them to spread I think. Just my opinion. I already have the holes dug, so it's just a matter of planting. If the hole is digger, bigger and deeper, I just fold it up and bury the soil around it. That's it for now. Let's give it some water. Okay, planting's all done for today. 
just got to figure out how to get these fences back up. 